morning. Welcome back to the Peak District. Uh, today I'm in uh, just by Lady Bar again, as always, <laughs> my favourite place. And uh, today I'm doing a hike up Derwent Edge. So I'm going to go up via the side of the dam there, um, up onto Derwent Edge via Lost Lad back tour, and then straight along the uh, the edge there, all the way to White Tor, to the Wheelstones where we've been before, if you've watched one of my earlier films. And then head back down from there, back towards the shore of Lady Bower, and then back to Fairholm, which is where I am now. So, as you can see, there's no water um, flowing over the dam uh, today. It is dry. It's been dry for probably about a month and a half now, maybe two months. Uh, really hot weather. Um, I walked past Lady Bower this morning um, on my way here, and it is low. I have never seen it that low before, not for a couple of years. And another thing that we've got now, this time of year, we're in the middle of August, well, early August, um, and the purple heather's out. I'm going to enjoy it, it's going to be a good walk. I'm looking forward to the day. Just at the top of Derwent Down now, which is kind of the start of the walk. But um, we're in the just the right season for uh, fruit picking. So right at the top here, blackberry bushes, and you can see just behind there, raspberries as well. All ready for picking. There's one here, look. Mm. That's perfectly ripe as well. There's loads and loads of these bushes here, and there's more on this side as well. Oh, look. <laughs> she says. So, we go off up here. It doesn't look like much of a path, but it becomes one a little bit later on. As we sort of climb up higher and higher, and then eventually we get onto the moors. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, there's purple heather up there. There definitely is around Burbage, um, Longshore, that area. Kind of drove through it this morning. Um, that's out in full bloom now. This is a treat, so not only have we got the purple heather in abundance now, but behind the heather, if you can see, we've got bilberries. These are in abundance as well. I'm not going very far. I'm not, I'm not getting very far at all. Um, I'm too busy picking bilberries. There's absolutely tons of them. Bilberry heaven. Anyway, I need to get a move on. Because um, I do need to get up to the edge. I'm barely starting to walk. We're probably about 10 minutes in. Um, I got distracted by the bulberries with the purple heather. The path that we're walking up now is called Holling Clough, or Holling's Clough, uh, and it was Holling's Clough Plantation that was just behind us, uh, the woods that we came through. So it's a fair old trek now, um, uphill on this moor side. Uh, got to get the map out every now and again because um, it does zigzag and paths cross so you've got to make sure that you get on the right one to end up on the, the built path uh, the paving slabs that takes you up to uh, Lost Lad and then on to Derwent Edge well, the sun's come out, I'm going to get a tan I'll tell you what, in a, I call this Jurassic Park because of all the ferns I've seen loads of butterflies <laughs> it's, that, it's that time of summer now the fruit's out, the butterflies are out the birds are out Magnificent. Hardly anyone here as well, there's only me here. I can hear a bird. Don't know what it is. Getting some height now. See the went down there. Not as low as I thought. The the interesting bit is when we get to um a lost lad and uh across out onto do it more then because uh, that's when you get all the views easy path to follow but uh, this track up here is actually quite nice it's very rare that people come up this path don't see people on here very often um, considering all the uh, plentiful supply of bilberries um, which are now going to slow me down even more bilberries are wild blueberries 
These are really sweet. Yep. Do an edge that way. Swings around. You walk up there and then onto the edge. It's a good marked path from here. Leaving Lost Lad behind us and then forwards, then onwards to back door, which uh, does have a trip point on it that we're gonna have to climb up to. A lot more purple heather to see as well. There, over in the distance, is a kinder scout that way, and then on the ridge line there is a, the Great Ridge, Mam Tor, Loose Hill, and another place called Back Tor as well. For now, I'm just going to carry on going forwards and head on down this path. Coming up ahead of us is the, the Cakes of Red uh, rock formation. So. Might be some people up there. Good for climbing. There's a, a rock up there that looks like a turtle as well, so I'm going to go find that. So this is where I started, right in front of Dermot Dam, and then I took this path up past the side of the dam up to here, which is where the raspberries were, and then from there I carried on up this track here, Holland's Clough, through the small bit of woodland, and then up to here, which is where the bilberries were. From there, this is where it got a bit zigzaggy, so came back on myself here, and then further up the hillside, and then back here, and then again further up the hillside until I got to this track, and then from there it's a case of just following it through the grass butts and then carry on on the paved slabbed path all the way along 
till you get to this hillside and then at the top of there you get to Lost Lad. Um, from Lost Lad there, if you carry on following the track and the path, then you end up here at Backtor. And then from Backtor, same again, follow the, the built path past the cakes of bread, all the way down here, past the salt cellar boulder, all the way along until the wheelstones. And then not far past the wheelstones, you get to this junction here, it is signposted. And then I came off this path, which is signposted for Derwent, followed it down, kept following it down the hillside till I got to the woodlands, and then it goes past the side and then through a little farm there and it drops you straight back down at Lady Bar Reservoir. And then from Lady Bar Reservoir it's simply a case of just follow the path all the way back till you get back to the dam.